My one thing is making your tortilla press earn its real estate in your kitchen. The first thing we're gonna do is press garlic. Now I know you probably have a garlic press somewhere in your kitchen. This is way faster. So you take a clove of garlic, still in its paper, give it a light crush, and the paper falls right out. Easy thing number two, crushing walnuts. Now I realize you can do this with a knife, but it's way more fun with the tortilla press and that way you don't have to break out your food processor. Put a small handful of walnut halves in there. Crush. And there you have it. In no time at all, you've got an easy garnish for your oatmeal. The third easy thing you can do with your tortilla press is make homemade dumpling wrappers. So we made some dumpling dough here, it's very easy. The secret is to use more flour than you think you need because this flour is going to dry out any stickiness that remains in the dough. So you take one of these little balls, make it about ping pong ball sized, more flour on top, place another piece of parchment on top, then press down really hard because this is a very elastic dough with lots of gluten. And when you open it, you will have a nice round of extremely sticky dough that we're gonna press again. Shake off the excess flour, and there you have it. What we have here is just a very basic dumpling filling. We've got fatty ground pork, chives, sesame oil, a little bit of soy sauce, and uh, some ginger and garlic. And then steam or fry, and you're good to go. The fourth way to use your tortilla press is to make super skinny sausage patties that are perfect for a breakfast sandwich. So we've got some breakfast sausage here that I've sliced, and we're gonna take two of these and just squish the meat out of the casing. What you'll need is a plastic bag that you have snipped the zip top off so that you have two sheets like this. Take your sausage, plop it right on top, second sheet, make a little seal, and then press down. If you put this onto a plate, it will fall apart and right into the pan. It will shrink very nicely, and because it's so thin, it's gonna get nice and crisp on both sides. Look at all these things I made with a tortilla press. That's right, it's not just for tortillas anymore. If you like this food hack, check out more one thing on thesprueseats.com.